The fairy is bored with her garden, bored with flying around, bored with twinkling, bored with having sex with drunk people just because they make good promises. They work so hard to get her. They smoke and swallow and knock them back. They say, this time, I'm not leaving. They stroke her trembling ears. Every night, she elopes, expectant, sincere, brimful of believing. And every morning, she crawls back to her garden, untangles her bent wings, sticks her head in the bird bath. Her lovers always insist on coming down. The bright eyes last night that stared right at her become stayed, serious, look right through her. Sometimes they're not drunk, sometimes they're crazy. She gets treated like a symptom. They take blinding pills and stop returning calls. The fairy likes the drunks, likes the crazies. She's aroused by the feverish, those hot and brief affairs. But the lonely, fuck, they really kill her with their coffee and their realism and their not coming out to play. When she masturbates, and fairies often do, she dreams of tired skin, dry lips, sober eyes. She dreams of losing herself on worn carpets, stained fingers, the sad and suffocating love of the lonely. The fairy is bored with her garden, bored with her wind chimes, her lip gloss, her tiny, shiny singing voice. She wants someone who doesn't need enticing, who finds her somewhat dull and ordinary, who picks her sequins off the pillow with disdain and drapes her with a heavy arm. She wants snores that rip the darkness, darkness that leaves in the morning, ripe, huge bodies that remain. The fairy wants to groan, to fart, to stay for breakfast. The fairy wants to be ripe and huge. Gracias.